Well, hello everybody, Belinda here, Bacon with B. And I want to show you a couple differences between a new product that just came out January 1st, this year, 23, and it is the slow cooker stand for our Rock Rocks. Now we had a previous version, um, and I'm gonna show you some differences, but in the previous version right now, I have the two and a half quart everyday rock rock. And in the new version, I have the four quart Dutch oven rock rock. Now, if you don't know much about the rock rocks, rock rocks, I, I can't say enough about them. Rock rocks actually can go on top of your stove gas, glass, or electric. It can go into your oven. It can go under the broiler. They can go in the microwave, in the dishwasher, on your grill. They can actually be taken immediately out of a cold source, uh, like your refrigerator, and put directly onto your heat source. They heat up to 752 degrees. So that is quite the vessel, I would say. So what happened is they went on all these heat sources. So Pampered Chef, quite a few years ago, came out with their slow cooker stand, which meant that the Rock Crocs could now be a slow cooker, as long as you use the stand. Now, with the older version, and I'm trying, gonna try to get a little closer here, with the older version of the slow cooker stand, you could have, they had an off, a low, a high, or a warm. But what happens is after you would, you know, have your um, dinner or whatever in here on, on low for like eight hours or so, then you would have to be there and turn it to warm so that you could keep it warm. Well, with the new slow cooker stand for Rock Crocs, it automatically changes. So it's all digital, and I'll turn it on in a minute, but it's all digital. So if you have it on low and you have it set for eight hours, um, as soon as that eight hours is done, just a couple seconds and it turns to warm. And it's gonna go to warm for four hours. So that is a plus, it automatically does it. You do not have to sit there and babysit it and make sure you turn it to warm yourself. Um, it has the low, the high, and they're pre-programmed. So um, when you put it on low, it's gonna automatically come up as displayed as eight, eight hours but you can also change the time. So let's say you only want it on low for six hours. So you can change the time, which you could not in this piece right here. Um, you could change the time to whatever time you want on low. Same thing as high. <clears throat> um, it does have a cancel button. And it all, the, the digital display, matches all our other appliances. So it matches the um, air fryer, which you can't see over there, but it also does match our deluxe cooking blender that's sitting over there. Um, and it also matches the quick cook, I mean the um, uh, quick cooker and the um, deluxe grill and griddle. So they all match and they all look so pretty when you have them all on your countertops. Cause I do keep this on my countertop because I use it all the time. Right now I have ground beef cooking in one of my rock rocks. And um, I'll tell you a little bit about that after. But so they all match. The other thing is the old style had this, had a cord. And they have no place to put the cord, so the cord was always dangling. Well, with the new 
the new slow cooker stand, there is cord storage here. Yay for Pamper Chef! Because now you can wind it all up and, and that cord is not in the way. The other thing that Pamper Chef did, because they listened to everybody, they listened to your feedback, they listened to our feedback, and they better their products that way. So with the old stand, when you put a rock rock in there, it had a lot of slop in here. So if you were taking something out of your rock rock and you know putting it in your dish or whatever, the drips, it would drip down inside the stand and it was discoloring the bottom of the stand because um, obviously it's something that just couldn't be, you, you could clean it, but it always looked kind of yucky. But anyway, so with the new one, they've now added this gasket which the gasket only prevents um, from the drippage, from a lot of drippage going in here. If you have soup and somebody is a little messy, uh, it might drip in there, but you can wipe it right out and it stays clean. But they, so they added this gasket. The other thing is the body itself on the old one got hot. And the top ring got hot. So... And I mean, it got hot, you couldn't, you couldn't touch it. This one has a stay cool outer surface. So this surface and this very top, um, top ring here, is, it stays cool. It gets warm, but it's nothing that is going to burn you. So um, the digital display, cord storage matches, stay cool body, the gasket. Um, so that's basically the difference between both of them. I really prefer the new one for all of those reasons, but let me actually plug it in and show you. So I don't know if you can see the display. Right now it is just showing dashes, but if I turn the knob, to low, it automatically comes up as eight hours. So what you would do is you hit time, whoops, that went down to low, so you would hit hit the cancel, hit your time button. Um, I'm really not too, too sure, I've never changed the time. Oh, it's just the knob itself. So you can actually change the time. I've never really changed the time. I've always just left it at eight, eight hours. So, um, and again, it will automatically go to warm. Now, the, it also has a, a display off. So when you get it to the off, it'll, it'll say off and then it automatically turns itself off. I prefer to just always unplug it and wrap the storage and get ready for my next meal. So what I'm doing right now is, and I'm gonna try to take my phone off here without disconnecting anything on you guys. So let's see if I can get it out of there. It's a tough stand here. Okay, so I wanna show you what I've got, I have got in my rock rock right now, whoops, in my rock rock right now, I have some ground beef browning, and this is the four quart. Now remember the slow cooker stand only fits the two and a half quart and the four quart. So I've got um, my uh, ground beef browning, and if you see in here, see if I can, whoever has that mix and chop that everybody loves so much, you're going to want this. This is the mix and chop spatula. This thing, it, mix, it mixes, it chops just like the mix and chop did, but it also has drain holes and you can use it as a spatula, which the other 
um, mix and chop, you could not. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about, oh, now it's me. I'm going to tell you a little bit about um, what I do is I'm getting ready to make a chili. And the chili takes about a pound and a half of ground beef. Well, because of the price of things and everything these days, I always buy in bulk. And what I do is I make my um, recipes or I, I kind of jot down what I want to make every single week. And so I've got three pounds of ground beef in there right now. And this is how I kind of save a little bit of money. I've got three pounds. I'm, I'm just browning it all. And I'm going to take what I need for my chili. And then I'm going to take the rest of it and I'm going to drain it. And I'm going to put it in a one of our glass storage pieces, our leak-proof glass storage pieces. I'm going to stick it in the refrigerator, and I'm going to make like a Chinese pie or something with the rest of it. Now, th the reason I do that is obviously, like I said, it's cheaper to buy in bulk. And um, I'm just all about saving money, so... Anyway, I just wanted to show you that. I'm going to um, come on in a little while because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that chili and I'm going to brown the, the meat, put the onions, the green peppers in there and, you know, get all that ready. And then when I add my sauce and the beans and everything, I'm going to stick it in my Rock Crock slow cooker stand which is beautiful. I love it. Um, I'm going to take it and put it in there for eight hours on low tomorrow morning. And I will, dinner will be done for me tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon when I get out of work. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I do want to let you know if you go to, if you want to join my page on Facebook it's um, Bacon with B, but the um, URL or whatever you type in is um, facebook.com forward slash I love my peeps. And then you'll just ask to join my page. You'll see recipes in there and, and everything. So join my page. Let me know below uh, this video whether or not, you know, where you were watching from, which party you were in, or who the host was that invited you. I love to know all of that. But everybody have a great day, and I hope this was a little <clears throat> bit of great information. I do want to let you know the Rock Rocks have not changed. It's only the slow cooker base that has changed. So for now, from Bacon with B in my kitchen to yours. Have a good night. Bye, everybody.